things. Yeah. Oh, no. Speak at your normal God-given tongue. Speak at the, the the volume that the good Lord Jesus Christ just like a standard deviation, like like your normal talk voice. Give me everybody. I don't speak normal ever in my life. Okay, so that was normal enough. For the rest of you guys just thought I got the recording and just go a little poop poop beep pop pop beep beep boom. Do re mi. I think it's I look it looks like all the numbers are moving the way they're supposed to. Yeah, it's just like the numbers are moving like this. Yeah, the numbers are moving the way they're supposed to. I think. Huh? I think I think we just get this motherfucking show on the Oh, one sec, my tea just finished. Um Intro you guys want to just introduce yourselves? You, you can handle it. Oh, dude, why does it say Chuds in here? Oh, Chud. is that bugged? No, it's You're that bugged. the ghost of Chud. I'm screen sharing my Discord right now. The ghost of Chud, yes, leaving it. Like, yeah, dude, look at my screen share. Look, ghost of Chud is in here. True, see it. Scan. What is that? Whoop. Hello, screenshot. It's a normal What the fuck. Oh, I mean, you guys are seeing it. It's all that matters. Okay, let me get my tea and then. <laughs> oh, then we get the show on the road. You can feel free to introduce yourselves in the left corner. Blood bit, you do that. You guys do that. Uh, we're in, by the way, recordings on. So don't fucking know fucking code names, no illegal illegals. Okay, baby. Baby, code name, me, I am Ludwig, I am a fucking sojourner on this thing. I come pop in once in a fucking while. And here we are. Oh, actually, didn't like charge is fucking so much. What did I do? Oh, you're Junior? doxing us, bro. You're doxing us. Oh, is that recording yet? Is it? Yeah, oh, no, it is, but I, I actually don't give a fuck. Uh, it's been like seven podcasts, I don't think, I, since I've been here. Talk to you. Random stuff. Good things. Good convos. Excellent convos. I don't know. Good. I've been uh, I've been trying to self improve myself. I'm back. That's good self improvement in life. Self improvement. I'll leave you guys alone for fucking five minutes, dude. And mother oh, I'm kidding. It's hello, how are you doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome to ba da ba 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 Bitcoin, Chat GPT, and Joe Biden. Bitcoin and Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. <laughs> yes. Hey man, my initial GPT, we did it last time for good. True. Yes, we did. Uh, you don't have to give that kind of personal information out on the show, but if you fucking want to, you give yeah, just tell everybody. You're fucking. Tell hey, you're fucking. Know what does the P stand for? Uh, uh, father's names. Mm. Uh, oh, keeping it a little mysterious. I like it. Sponsored oh, by uh, Jumi GPT, sponsored by Joseph Robinette Biden. Speaking of middle names, Joe Biden's middle uh, yes, name Robinette. is Robinette. Robinette. Very important little bit of trivia there for uh, our you know, American Robinette, voters. Yeah, in the it's audience. like a little, it's like a faucet, right? You know, so, he, so he's a faucet. Is that? He's a little one. I know in French, that's what that Isn't is. A, is it Robinette French? Yeah, it's a faucet. It's a, yeah. I thought it was in English. It would just be like like a girl Robin. Like there's Robin and there's Robinette. But Robin's a girl name no, too. You could just be a girl there's Robin. There's Robin with like a wire, like Robin, like you know Robin. I don't know. That's like a, he's, he's just some rich white person. You know that's why everyone's against now the straight white male. But you know that's why people don't like Biden because he's rich. No, 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 no. Because no, no. he was dying. They support, they, they support him, but I'm saying all these left, left idiots are like fuck the rich, fuck the straight man, fuck the whatever. He's literally the embodiment of everything they hate. But anyways, I'm I not mean, delusional there. In it, bro. Dude. Bro. But he's bruh. also really hip. Good joke. Remember uh, how relatable that, he that is? Man who knows how many drugs. Remember the story about uh, Corn Pop? <laughs> Remember Corn Pop story? He supports oh. tra trans people. He supports shit. He just follows the script. What do you tell me now? He supports trans. He doesn't know what trans is. Poor kid. God damn it. I thought okay. he was really hip for an old guy. He reminds me of a cool grandpa. Cool hey man, when I was younger, I didn't think I thought every old person only spoke Greek, you know. So that shows you how much I know. When I was younger, I only spoke Greek. 
Actually, Oof. no, I, I learned all the Let languages go, simultaneously, multilingually. Hey, man. Hey, man, I have videos of me in Santa Claus's lap. Like, six oh, years oh, years. oh, don't tell me what you, about your fucking Santa you Claus is just yet. Or give me, let me just do the intros. Sure the fucking mall Santa is just there, just like, what the fuck, these fucking immigrant kids. I'm never taking over our country. Like, this is back, back in the 90s, even worse. Did you guys self intro or am I introing you? Did you guys self? Did you seppuku intro or am I introing you guys? I don't, I don't fucking know. You doxed already, dude? <laughs> I'm just bored as fuck. And dude, I'm just talking. We're five Please. minutes in. I'm yeah. just bored. And I don't know if you were recording before. You're like, welcome to the. Sponsor. I was, yeah. Remember I told you guys? Oh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys to yourselves and introduce yourselves. They're, they're recording. We got dogs. We got dogs. Who and how hard? Who and how hard? Uh, just two for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's okay. No, it's, it is actually, at this point, it is, is, it's more of a joke than a rule. It's more of like the joke of the fucking show that the only rule of the show is. You're away. I didn't know you were recording. Oh, I 100% uh, said that I was, you cocksucker. Let's be honest, though, like two fucking greeks named george is not doxing much oh, we brought this exactly. up a little bit in the last episode if if there was if there's any one out of our like dozens of millions of fans uh, if there is one fucking crazy out there that wants to piece together the complex web that is our friend group it is, they have enough they have enough breadcrumbs yeah, of course. but but it's fucking it's random shit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, they, they in, the, right, in the in the sc- erase erase information. If you're listening to this, close your eyes and the uh, Men in Black erase pod machine. Just Very picture cool. the red light washing over you and fucking removing your brain of its worries and any recent information it might have processed. Bang, we're back. None of that even happened. Open the eyes back up. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new light. And I'm mm. feeling fucking blue. Grumpy Bear. Sponsored mm. by... Okay, uh, in the, the intros. Bah, 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 bloody B. Uh, to start us out. Uh, there's a little smoke of cigarette. Penguins over there. A long time a pal. A pal of the program. Pal of the real of the real life. Bloody B. Hello, what, how are you true? doing today, motherfucker? How are you feeling? I was good. I was saying uh, before that... Uh, right now, I'm fucking... Been like seven, seven or eight weeks since I've been on the podcast. So it feels good. Like it's, it's been a minute, life. yeah, for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I said I was also the thing occupying my time these days has been uh, self improvement. Hell yeah, I like to hear that. I, I've, I've noticed actually, like, um, in line with the 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 quitting the wow shit, I kind of assumed. And then when I saw you were talking about this business that you wanted to work out and uh, how more consistently you're doing the uh, like the physio things that you wanted to be doing and the little like exercise, it seemed like there was a pattern there of like, yo, let's fucking like let's reverse cr- degeneracy. Crank yeah, crank this shit into high gear a little bit. Regeneracy. Was there a prompting of this? Did you have a fucking a premonition? Did you wake up in the middle of the night with a cold sweat thinking, God damn it, I want to fucking, I want to switch something up? Or is this just like something that you um, kind of already decided a while ago and now you just pull the trigger? It was something. So it started with the fucking uh, quitting, quitting weed. Uh, it was a big, big vice, I guess. It's actually something oh, Jordan yeah. Peterson said. I know it's fucking kind of oh, jokes, oh, oh, Dr. Peterson. He's like, I'm most like people, doctor, if you ask them what's fucking up your life, like, you it, you know right away. Like, it's not you don't need to think hard. It's just like, hey, what's the one thing that's, like, fucking up your life more than it should be? And it's like, most people will just know the answer. It doesn't mean it's easy to change, but it's, like, simple enough to fucking yep. identify. And I was like, yo, I smoke way too much. And it's stopping me from doing all these other shit. That's just been on the back burner. And that was the first fucking house of cards shit that like uh, everything else yeah. went from. Fair. Yeah, especially when the when the thing that is taking up too much of the fucking time or whatever is also a thing that like in essence is is like a, a fucking like a de, like a depress like it's a what's the word for it depressant no you, you can't use that word for weed can you what's the word for it's a thing that slows uh, you down it's a thing that literally fucking slows you down too you know so it's like a double on double yeah, entendre yeah. kind of thing it's it's a coping mechanism. <laughs> oh no well that's a different I direction think I a lot of the so I, i'm a believer that sort of suffering is is some in some ways good because it teaches it shows you things like I agree. this is feeling bad and it kind of there's wisdom in that right and so mm. the weed kind of dulled a lot of that shit a lot so it was kind of just fried 
and uh yeah it was it's when i stopped it was really tough because a lot of shit came back to the surface and i was like yo i actually don't like any of this shit and then it was a big big change wave after that yeah yeah i feel that and now it's a habit if it's been seven eight weeks it's been a habit then it's so cool what's a yeah, habit it's been like what like a month and a half okay so oh month and a half of the of the, of the weed of the weed quit yeah, except oh, yeah. like a couple, a couple fucking tokes in the chalet. I was chalet. about to say yeah, except for like some type of occasion situation, couple, but still, uh, yeah. But like yeah, it was actually like a few tokes at the chalet, and that was like over like one and a half days, and then yeah. Also, was that actually like a non-dank chalet? Was there any dank at the dank chalet, or was it fucking dank? There, there was for others. Oh, okay, because yeah, I was. Gonna, so I thought is there is our boy is our boy Ningen six hundred and sixty six also fucking uh, breaking off that shit or was that is that an old meme I don't remember. Uh, yeah, no, he's he's still on the, the sobriety train. Oh thing. hell yeah, so it's oh. a fucking two two danks out the dank shallot. Still sick, but yeah. good shit. Yeah, no, it's fucking it's cool. I uh I can definitely relate in the thing of like identifying something that shit, kind of knowing that it's there, knowing the kind of behavior around it and like fucking scoping some things to change and flipping that switch and then feeling like a new fucking like a new machine after a little while completely it's cool me was more in the direction of just like the going to bars a lot kind of drinky stuff uh similar thing though yeah similar you know i I might just drink uh you know a good boy only when i go for birthday parties oh it's a good it's a good start is this a dude, one of the last episodes was, was called this is an intervention but is this the real intervention episode dude are we fucking are we reforming is this the real? i wasn't the first intervention i wasn't part of that oh no it, that you were in the episode and i called it this is an intervention as a joke of some sort oh, no. but i don't remember why exactly but Doesn't anyways, matter. tell but me yeah, tell, tell me about your fucking maybe. birthday boy plans no nothing all it is is ever since the accident i couldn't drink for the first two weeks so i didn't and I figured, fuck it, I haven't gone out on, a thir- you know, Thursday fucking, the usual Thursday outings and bullshit, or even weekend outings. Mm. And yeah, it doesn't so feel that like, bad, right? out, I'll, just go, I'll just drink out birthdays. Doesn't it feel like pretty all right to not be the regular at the bars anymore? Isn't it kind of, it's kind of yeah, fine. I saved, I saved a bunch of money, even though I haven't got any money. Money is the I driving just, factor. Right? It's the cash, eh? You fucking little, you fucking yeah, little cash, cash lover. Yeah, man. E- even the ciggies. I haven't really been smoking cigs. Even now working, because I would just smoke cigs at work. I haven't like. I think I bought two packs in a month. Dude, if a fat is- wallet, if a fat wallet is what you need to look at to, to fucking decide to fucking tone down some dumb shit, if you think it's a bettering step, dude, do it, dude. Have the fat wallet be the motivator. Yeah, I believe the fat, the fat wallet is also like I'm not driving nowhere. Okay, about the car now, but not, not driving nowhere. You know, no no gas being spent, yeah, no parking true. being spent. True. Ooh. No, uh, and yeah. yeah, and probably next time I go out, it's probably gonna be the birthday, not this weekend, the weekend after. Yes, sir. I know this. The, nice, the old man birthdays. That's oh, it. yes, that's the next time I'm probably gonna do anything. So, bless, bless you, dude. Yeah, anyways, dude, do you fucking like? Yeah. I'm, supposed to, uh, hey, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed, to, supposed to go out Friday, but if no one gives me a lift, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, nice. fuck, yeah. fuck those gox suckers. They don't, they're yeah. fucking, fucking trash. No, no, they're good kids. They're good kids. I love them. Oh, I love no. them in their own fucking special, beautiful little ways. But 100%. Like, unless one of the broads I know gives me a lift, I'm not, fuck that, I'm not going nowhere. Oh, it has to be a lady driver. You're, this is an empowerment? This is no, a female empowerment no, angle? No, she's, she's, she's the only that lives, that lives in, in my area, so fuck, what am I going to do? No. Last time I asked, when I went, when I went for, for the freaking Super Bowl, well, what's his name? <laughs> our, good, our good old man, for friend's girlfriend, I can't really see any names now. Just call her A. She's like, it's funny how now you're not drinking and you're actually taking metros, but when you're driving, you would just drink. I was like, haha, well, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Very yeah. deep. Yeah, what are you going to do? Listen, dude, if you want to fucking it's take this fun. as a reformation opportunity, God bless you. Do whatever your fucking yeah, heart now, desires, now man, we, I believe. We need people that actually live in my area, so I'm like, oh, if you ever, ever go downtown, if you ever go to that area, just drive me, you know, haha, you live next to me. So, uh. <laughs> yes. And if it works, it works. Plus she's abroad, so it's like, yeah. Hell I'm yeah, dude. Drive me, drive me everywhere. Hell yeah, I dude. I told her, be my, be, be my chauffeur, or I'll, I'll just buy you drinks. I don't know, fuck. <laughs> That's it. I'll buy you, you other shit. You <laughs> drink, I drive. I mean, I, you drink and drive, I drink. You dr- I drink, you drive. No. Wait, we we no, both drink and drive out. together. 
We'll figure it and out. And a lot of winks. Then you just wink a lot of times. She'll press the gas. I'll, I'll, I'll have the other stream. Oh, she, you'll have the hand on the stick. She'll have yeah, the hand yeah, on yeah. the stick. The guys will be alternating oh, stick well, shifts. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Mm. Your stick, your stick. Is what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you come in with a, your stick, your stick or not? Huh? Did you come in with a, your stick, your stick or not? Yeah. Okay, good. I got to fix your volume, dude. I almost didn't even hear that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh shit. But yeah, uh, yeah, God bless. You know, what do you do? What you gotta do? Listen, there's a, there comes a time in a, in a fucking, in a man's life, there comes a time in a man's life as a good, uh, I don't know who said this, somebody said this, but there comes a time, you know? Mm-hmm. Bar Mitzvah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There comes a time Bar when Mitzvah? you gotta put on the, when you gotta put on the little hat. That's what they say, the guys. There comes a time you gotta oh. put on the little hat. This is that time for you. You gotta put on your fucking, put the little hat on, dude. And be a good boy. Put the little fucking hat on and just recite the words that they told you in the book and then fucking just chill. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking yeah. just put it in let, let Jesus take the wheel. Start investing in businesses. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Dude. Tell me, yep. So we had a little party, you know, over the. Uh... Yes, we did. Yeah, I got a little too wasted and mm-hmm. I, did not, I did not miss that feeling. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I'm sorry, it's my influence. Maybe not. There no, is. Like, uh, I wasn't uh, like unconscious or blacked out or whatever. I was just like super nauseous. Did we finish the bottle? Uh, Which bottle? The yeah. bottle of what? Did we, finish, did we finished Jameson. Jesus Christ. Finished the gym. Jesus Christ. Uh, but you see, I mean, you're, you're, all healthy, you're all healthy, and now alcohol is poison, so it's poisoning you. And you're like, boy's like, what the fuck is this? Our friend the giant finished a bottle of Cinzano by himself. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The giant. Oh ah, yes, 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 yeah, the giant, the giant. I know this one. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I remember was out. Well, that was a nice picture. He did pass out with the smoke in his mouth. I do remember, yeah, somebody uh somebody in some chat being like, Yo, go pick up this and it was I never saw it. It's true. I never I didn't even see it one time. He just fucking smashed it, eh? I would I, would, I had like four or five Drupals. I don't know what's wrong with me. You were on a mission. You were like, I, I just my usual. I just, I just put like six, five, six ice cubes, fucking full half the glass. Jamie, half the glass coke, and you're just like, yes. That's you it. were on a mission though. There, there was a look in your eye that you're like, I must. I, I this is the, the like. Uh, it has been too long. Like you oh, had been locked been in a fucking like, in a yeah, cellar, dude. I'm like, I haven't drank in three weeks. I gotta get destroyed. They fucking Harry early Potter, dude. They put they kept you in the bookshelf. I got early shit faced. You did. But I went home the next day. I had no no hangover. I was just tired. <laughs> I don't know, Welcome next good. morning, zero hangover. Just you know, like oh yeah, I forgot what happened last night. <laughs> it was nice. It was, it was a sure very, a lot of shit. it was a very nice time. Sure, yeah. it, was a, it was a fucking very cute, very nice time. I liked all of it. It felt very positive. A friend of ours, all in the wind, dude, made an appearance. It was a birthday and a oh, rebirth yes. day on his part. He, he got yeah, rebirthed into the fucking group a little bit. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. We hadn't seen him in the real world in a little while. Yeah, it was a and, nice now time. And, that's, and now he's back in the wind. That's the things about the fucking, the, the boozing and the and the schmocking and the fucking drinking and the sucking and the fucking and all that. It's, it is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful time. The things that come out of it, the, the fucking, the, uh, the, the heart, the hearts, when the inhibitions are lowered, the fucking, the dumb times that become the good beautiful. times, the, just the, like that, the, the thing, the simple activity that could be a shared thing that just kind of feels fucking nice. That's, it's, it's valid. It's real. Those things hap- are fucking sick. They're a part of us. They're fucking, they rule. But every now and then you just got to reel it back a little bit. And that's just, it's hey, just man. different people at different points for different reasons. You, you, you learn yourself, you learn how it is that you're interacting with these things. And like Bloodbig was saying, if, if you could ask yourself, what's the problem? And you could figure it out right then and there. Then you're off to the right fucking hey, start, dude. Then you can start making making some moves. I just miss being I just miss being a drunk idiot. No, hundred percent. But that's what I'm saying. That's the, <laughs> that's the point. I that, miss that, being that's a like a stone idiot too. Yeah, that it's like okay, valid yeah. and fucking real and awesome shit. It really is. It's 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 true. And I, I I was never much of a fan of the people that was like, oh, you know that that didn't that didn't count. Like I was drunk kind of thing. Or like, oh, that's not no. Don't ignore that thing of me. Like it was true. It's like no, nah, dude. Those the the part of you is is you. It's not all of you. But you at the fucking party, you at the function, you like in the fucking zone, in the sauce. That is you. Yeah. It is. It might not be all of you. It might not be perfectly representative of you. It might be you plus, you exaggerated. It might be you fucking a little aggro. You know what I mean? But it's you. It is. And it's uh, 
but it's just it's just deciding like the way that you felt being sober for fucking x weeks and then having that moment of like your time to fucking shine that was that was that's that party that's that guy that's the drunk that's the you that's the fucking animal dude you let it out but when it's the other way around when it's the animal that runs the fucking show night and day and every now and then like the you that just wants to sit and fucking read a book or wants to like write something nice or wants to just listen to music and stare at the ceiling or take a little walk when that guy is the guy that's kept under the fucking cellar and doesn't get to do anything ever, then you become a fucking degenerate. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's just kind of, that's the life that I lived a little bit. Uh, it's, everybody has their own experiences, but I could at least speak for myself and say there was a while when things were very flipped, when like the the thing that was, like the abnormal mode yeah. of thinking was, was, the, was this fucking the regular like the kid me dude like the me that was like yeah, it loses its charm too you know like and then yeah. you realize when you cut it out and you go back to it like you you, you have such a better time it's a better relationship with it, and there's no guilt associated to it yeah. anymore and there's no uh, none of the all the good and none of the bad feelings. Yeah, it's so much more wholesome but then then the 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 mediator is the fomo a little bit the FOMO for our uh, fucking, I mean, this is a term understood by just about all fucking humans on the internet, but for those that don't, FOMO, fear of missing out, dude, that is where, like, the, that is the vile fucking temptress of the in-between, that's the, like, oh, if I don't just go to this fucking thing, then what, what am I not gonna see, dude, what am I not, what fucking, what tit, what tit is not gonna be in my mouth, dude, that's the FOMO, the FOMO of the tit oh, not yes. in your mouth, dude. The FOMO of the fucking, the skirt not lifted. You know what I mean? The FOMO oh, yes. of the fucking, of the laugh, the laugh not heard originally. You know, like you hear like a, t a tale of a laugh. You hear the, the, the fucking, the reverberation. You hear the retelling, the, 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 the story of the story of the laugh. But the FOMO of not being there for the laugh, dude, not being fucking... In the moment, oh, yeah, the moment. that's the and then, but again, the my fucking that's why you pick and choose. You find your friends, you to, to keep the fucking the real the real tight ones fucking tight, nice and fucking close, and you show up to the shit that you think real fucking matters, and then you make your own yeah, anti FOMO do, energy. Birthdays, that's what I mean. You make your own anti fucking FOMO energy by not missing out on yourself, dude. Don't miss out on, now on you, the bro. Map, man. There's a birthday in two weeks. And there's yes, a birthday, there first week of March, and then there's St. Patrick's weekend, and it's like perfect Yes, timing. there is. Yeah, exactly. So you could be a guy that shows up to events, and you don't have to be the guy that's at the fucking thing every yeah, other I day. I won't, be, I won't be there every fucking Thursday, every fucking Wednesday. Every, that's it. Yeah, dude, there was a while where it was every, a fucking every day of the week was a reason to be there, remember? Remember there was fucking, yeah. there was, oh, dude, the trivia, do. trivia, a wing special, the, the trivia, five dollar doubles, the, 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 this the, the, bar, that bar, fucking, oh, this, oh, turns out this other bar has another reason to be there on that day. Well, then that's, now we have a Wednesday for here and a Wednesday for there and a Thursday for here, and, and then, then, then it's Friday. But, I mean, after that, then it's just the fucking weekend, dude. Then it's just Friday, Saturday. Yeah. You don't need any extra reasons there. And then Sunday's in Industry night, dude. Sunday's for everybody that works in the industry. Oh, yeah, Sunday. Crazy. Sunday, oh, go out after dinner. I'll have dinner with the family. I'll bring some fucking drinks. God, like, there's there's always a fucking reason, especially in this goddamn beautiful city of ours. There's a nightlife, oh, yeah. dude. There's a life. There's a fucking life of the night, and there's fucking a reason. You gotta party. You gotta be a degenerate. Uh, there's reason. There's, there's very, very good reason, but it can't be all the time. You know what I'm saying? And it's good. No, it's cool. Whatever, whatever you're fucking... Whatever your thing is, dude, I believe. I do believe. Yes, sir. I do declare. Dude, I watched the play the other day, actually. That was kind of funny. It was like a like a university uh, play. Um, it was uh, like a like a like a like a Odyssey, like Odysseus play. But it was like a contemporary fight and university fight, and it was like a. It was kind of cute, actually. It was fun. I hadn't done anything like that in a little while. I think it was just called like a this I don't even remember honestly. It's kind of sick. Oh. Oh, but yeah, little event, you know. Great. One of those uh, little eventy kind of mm -hmm. nights that became a, that was eventful. Dude, the ghost of Chud is still in here. I've never seen. I've never seen a person. He's not in there. He's not in the AFK channel. He's not anywhere. He's actually. Who is just, this guy? Who is this Chud? Uh, Chud's a bud. Chud's a bud. You've spoken to Chud at some point, maybe briefly. Actually, maybe not even, because you were out of the Discord scene for a while. But Chud's a bud in the blood big direction. Uh, Chud's a bud in the blood big direction. I was in here earlier. We were watching some One Piece. I see. Yeah. Dude, did you see the fucking AI Care Bear shit? The Care Bear 80s Dark Fantasy? Yeah. Jesus. Crazy. What fucking horrors. 
Horrors, man-made horrors beyond comprehension. Beyond, dude. Oh, speaking of nothing at all, actually, I have vitamins to take. One sec. I'm beer, I'm taking some vitamins. You guys, uh, ch fucking chat it up. Give me a sec. You take them B12s that I don't take nothing. Don't take nothing the doctor ever gives you. You need your B12s and your vitamin Ds and your vitamin Cs and your Flintstones and your what else? Oh God. Zinc. Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, your potassium. Uh, the hey, man, I told you my barber's a uh, fucking spirit uh, theorist. The, the antivirus is the virus. Hey, man. I told you, I realized my barber was like, they gave you painkillers, you just don't take nothing. You have to take your B12s, you have to take them like shit. Like, oh my fucking God, stop it, please. Whatever the doctors give you, don't trust them. Like, shit, 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 please. More, cons more conspiracies. Did you see the cursed image I posted before? Wait, 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 which one? First image. This one. What'd you post on? Oh god. That's right. Uh, I think it's cool actually. That's the AI to merge. Mandela. Right? Mandela, oh god, please. No, no, Pals Erotica. Oh, I have to go back. Oh, fuck me. Alice. What the fuck? Oh Hello? god. Yeah. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Michael Jackson and Elon Musk? I told the AI to merge. Can you, can you make the old, uh, the old Elon Musk, the bald one? Version? Oh, dude. Go, oh, go to bot spam, dude. Fuck around with it. Ask. Which AI are you using, by the way? Are you using a widget or are you using something else? This one's called Stable Diffusion, I think. What? Stable Diffusion. Oh. Is that one that lets you can make you porn? you use the, uh... No, it's you not. use this one, use this one. It's mid-journey. Oh, there's been new stuff in mid-journey, I didn't even notice. Yeah. High exposure, enchanted scroll, wait, oh, that looks fucking cool, dude. That's some, like, fable yes. shit. Some of the some art, uh, wait, which one do you mean? Enchanted scroll, oh. radiating wisdom. That's on it's bot spam. fucking wicked. Yeah, bot spam, I have the mid-journey bot in here, you can fucking Yeah, I used, the, I used some of the art for the side project. That I saw Actually, a couple. Actually, all of them. the art has been. Yeah. I saw a couple. Oh, and then small cow cued blind dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Blind dog. What the fuck? There's actually a problem. Speaking of speaking of dogs, I barely even spoke to the dog lover on Saturday. The dog lover on Saturday. I can't, I can't use names. Uh, well, wait, I'm trying to. Okay, the dog lover. Yeah. I I don't remember TV. that being the dog. Oh, dude, he has a name in the Discord. You call him by a Discord name, dude. Anyway, oh, you I'll probably don't know. Yeah, it doesn't uh, matter. Doesn't matter. Dude, make make the new image with the. the oh. <laughs> a a make it with the natty a Elon Musk. Avi. Whatever. I get. I know what you're talking about. George right, was right. dating a dog and love a dog. Dude. Ah. <laughs> Oh, so continue. What was the thing? What is the what's the fucking story, dude? There's no no there's no, there's no story. It's like I don't remember him being there. All I remember is the oh. But then, like at the house, like my my brother was telling me he's like you were having this argument. I'm like, what are you like? What I don't remember any of that. Like I, I don't remember, I didn't see any of that. I no. you probably weren't. I mean, my brother, you know, exaggerates things. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I don't forget all that. I don't. I mean, I I. There was a point, we hung out at, at a couple points in the night. I don't remember you uh, arguing with uh, that no, no, fellow. Not, not, me, not me arguing, them arguing together, like, to oh. the, or him arguing. I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm just, I'm like, I don't remember any of that. I, I believe in the with them. That's fucking background information, dude. That's not relevant. Don't worry about that. I don't even, I don't know if that happened. And if it did, because of, <clears throat> fuck. I'm going to try to explain to you what happened with the bills. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't care. I, I got lost. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I just opened Doncast, dude. Sorry. Uh huh? What were you saying? Nothing. Yeah, dude. My, bro my pro brother asking me for freaking what happened. What's happening? I'm like, bro, I don't know. What's your face? I don't remember anything. <laughs> Wait, he asked, he asked, he's asking my point of reference. I'm like, bro, are you asking fucking me? Like, asking you about uh, what you remember of other people's arguments? Yeah, and I'm just I'm like, I don't fucking know. Like, I, was just, I, I, I was not even conscious. Conscious. Also, who needs that information at all? Who gives a fuck about any of that? Fuck my teachers. brother does, probably. Yeah, tell oh, tell him, just, it doesn't matter. It's fucking irrelevant trash. I don't even know when he left. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't remember uh, saying bye to him. I don't, I don't remember saying bye to anybody. I suppose I did, but I don't remember. <laughs> nah, it's okay, dude. 
Okay, so it was a nice night. The fucking little details like that. Did I fucking whatever? Fucking whatever, man. It's all listen. It was a nice. It was a nice time. It was a nice oh, little dinner before. I woke up. I woke, I woke up. I was like, oh, this was good. This was good. I like those. Yeah, when you wake up, you don't exactly remember everything, but you got a smile on your face. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, someone actually messaged me through the website, dude. What? Oh. Already? That's crazy. What do they want? For the gym. This has to be oh. a scam, right? Is it well, one of us secretly messaging you? Is someone well, in the maybe. Some... I feel like it's one of the kids trolling. One of the oh. fucking Dota players. Hello, this is Samson. No, this guy actually has a full, full email. Uh, hell yeah. Is it a uh, Bajit? Is it a? His name is Samson Pollock. Sa That's a fake name. Wait, it's not like an author or some shit. Who's that? I've heard that's this name. Jackson Pollock. That's oh, a fake that's Jackson. That's a fake name. There we go. I'm gonna reply. Samson Pollock. No, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's, uh, Stan. No, I mean, uh, what was the other one? Who's the, who's the painter? Jackson. Jackson Pollock. Okay, so do you think so? this guy, what are the odds this guy's an actual potential customer? Read me out his, his words. I will tell you the, the reality. Actually, wait, is he? Is Hello, he, this is go. Samson. Can we talk about your website designing and promotion? May I have your phone number and best time to call? Oh, he wants to promote your site? That's... He probably wants, he probably wants to... What's your phone number? Mm -hmm. My phone number is literally on the fucking website. Oh. That is... Yeah, that's kind of strange. That's like... Uh, that gives off uh, bot vibes. Some kind of like... Uh, some fucking like hey i can help you uh, promote your site uh, just uh you know the fucking add me this or that type shit and it's a fucking just a robot automated message some type of fucking program written to fucking do this kind of who dude Should i take off my phone number now i'm getting fucking sketched oh shit the guys i the think you could do without having the phone number on there for sure i mean it needs to be yeah and then just give it out like as yeah, after some That's after some back and forth. So. After some, okay, I'm not gonna take. And this off. Jackson Polo guy just scribbled everywhere. Did he ever make uh, things that weren't scribbles or what? I don't fucking know. What am I? A uh, narcotic? Ah, uh, you probably don't oh, know dude, more than the imagine average. You layman. can actually get fucking real people to fucking need services. Hell yeah, they do exist. The people need to be serviced. Trust me. Yeah. Just gotta fucking find them. Uh, or you just have to, I mean, if this, who, this guy might be a legit advertising, he might be a fucking, a madman, a Mad Max, what's the, what's the madman guy, a J Jackson Pollock, what's it, what do they call him, what's his name, what? what the, what's no, the Mad Max, the John, John Draper, well, he might be a veritable Don Draper of the 2023s, dude, and he's just ready to take your product to the next fucking level, oh. he might have a, a vision for a whole, Whole campaign, a whole fucking, a whole fucking song and dance, my friend. Or he might just be an actual robot, not real person, and uh, he just somehow scrapes like new website being made information off the fucking internet and just like a uh, fucking bot, bot yeah. reacts to their shit. I don't even know if I should answer this fucking bot. I'm getting bot vibes. Hello, yeah. please give me your phone number, please. Hello, please, yes. Please give me the sir, number of your telephone. Please do the telephone. needful, sir. It's a budget farming your information. Oh, do no, the no. needful, sir. Yeah, the next, the the next email is going to be using the next, the next message he sends out is going to be using your name, dude. And he just, he just keeps stealing identities and fucking reaching out to other people. He is my Oh, shit, dude. Goddamn, I don't want to work Monday. What is this? Oh, uh. You're going to work tomorrow, bro. I go back to work. What is this? You're going to the last job or to a. Uh... No, I have to go back. To, I have to go back for a bit. Stay there for another month, then quit. Then I'll figure it out. Mm, God yeah. bless. Ha have happens. they paid you what they, they owe you? Yet. No one's paid me for the government. Can you go on me. like a uh, long-term mental disability leave or something? I could, but I don't want to because if I stay another month in my house, I'm gonna lose my shit. True, I'm yeah, there's I'm, uh, I'm, already going, I'm already going crazy. Like, I can, I can literally do another two weeks. I'm like, fuck it, fuck it. 
Yeah, there is uh, a value in that for the mental health for sure. I thought I thought about milking more. I'm like, no, I actually got really bored this week. Like, I actually got really fucking bored. Well, good news is, uh, it was really cold for a chunk of the time that you were fucking injured. You didn't you didn't miss a whole lot. You're not exactly you're yeah, not like a fucking cold. skier or whatever. So you didn't miss like the slopes. You would have just literally just been cold yeah, getting cool. in and out of your car for a couple of weeks. So it's all good. You didn't miss too much. Pretty much. Anyways. You know the weather's getting better, but yeah. The weather's nice. You could take little walks. You could fucking. But all I know is I can't stay at in my home anymore. That's, I got yeah, that's fair. It's very fair. It I is. I gotta be uh, active, like, cause I wake up at like eight in the morning. I'm just fucking doing shit all day. Like, I'm, <clears> there's only so many books I could. Only so many books I could read. Only so many things I could do. Oh god. I mean, there's a fucking billion yeah, things you could do, but you gotta. Be, oh, you gotta work out, believe. But I can't work out. I still have the pin, so I can't really work out. Yeah, you could, I guess you could just walk around and fucking stare. You could just, you yeah. could have picked up bird watching. This would have been a nice time. You could have caught the migration, the the hey, northern. Man, today I, I walked like four hours aimlessly. Four hours? That's sick. Well, look, uh, we have to go get a new star for the car. Walk my dad. The guys that go take an hour and a half. Took him like three and a half hours. I'm just like fuck it. Let's keep walking around. Then you walk, just, talk, you walk, just... talk. Where the butt? Oh, well, you were talking to somebody. This wasn't you. Were just, were just in your own oh. head. A bit of both. Yeah, my dad was. It was just me, me and my dad walking around. You were talking with your dad for three hours walking? More or less. Jesus. Are you guys best More pals now? That's kind of cool. I don't think I yeah, ever no, talked no. with my dad for three hours. Oh, we have to talk about some Greek shit. Talk, talk about some, some fucking family oh, shit. Oh, his talk. money was on the table the whole time. Eh, eh, goes here, here and forth, here and back. Did you talk about real... Did you, did you guys hug at the end? Did you give him a hug? I don't do hugs. Oh, wait, wait, no, no hugs. I just no, got no the hug. Did, was there a... Was there a firm handshake? Was he like, hey, George, you're a good kid? Possibly. Nice. Good lad. That's good. Come on, lad. Is he like, hey, you <laughs> God bless, dude. No, it was all right. It was just, yeah. That's a cute, that's an adorable fucking story, dude. That's adorable. There's very, re that listen. We're all, we're fucking men here, dude. Every bit of fucking eight balls between the four of us. We all fucking, we know the fucking, the trials and tribulations of, a, of adult male fucking hood. A three and a half hour walk oh, with yeah. your with your pa, three and a half three and a half hour walk with your old well, with your old man in the fucking. Uh, well, it wasn't like it wasn't like phone up like you know it was it was wait there wait for an hour go to Timmy's went to BMR went to this walk around go back it's not ready yet yeah. okay we'll go for another thing go back and it was back and forth. I understand conceptually. Okay. I'm just saying that's a cute that's a cute that's a cute thing and that's the thing that I that you probably. You're probably 20 years from now, look back and be like, that was a nice, that was a nice afternoon me and my yeah, pops had. You know what I mean? It sounds morning. like one of those. I, maybe I'm projecting. Yeah. Maybe I'm projecting. It was all right. It's okay. It was all right? All right. It was nice. good. Oh, that was yeah. good to hear. I spoke about nothing. Let's have to go to the summer. Though. This Elon Musk, Michael Jack, I got to scroll up. I can't look at this anymore. Anybody watching the visual of this, I'm sorry that I was just scrolled down on that for that long. <laughs> That's fucking gross. Hey, man, it's not that good. I don't stay on it. Yo, no. I still do the, uh, do the uh, natty Elon. Oh, yeah, can you? What? How do you prompt that? Fucking bald Elon Musk mixed with Michael Jack. I'm doing it in bot spam right now. It's happening. I'm wasting one of my tries on this. Yeah, I'm deleting this picture. You can put it in bot spam. You can put it in bot spam. It's it's totally fine just being mixed in bot spam with the other bullshit. General chat? That is kind of fucking cursed. <laughs> Okay, what are some words that I could add to make it like hyper real HD? What are the what are the words? Photo real, uh, long exposure, a lot of commas. Um, but yeah, dude. Other than that, fucking shit. Oh. I'm gonna lie though, it feels kind of weird not having all those. Uh, Hoping fucking mechanisms do like uh, video games weed and shit. Don't know. hundred oh, percent. It's gonna be fucking weird. These are the things again. It's it's things that are a fucking real and valid part of the fucking the person that exists. But when you want to make something new, dude, you must destroy in order to create. These are the fucking laws of nature, dude. <laughs> oh god, okay, I put in a prompt in bot spam. Oh no, no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Something's happening, dude. Somehow it met in the middle and there's like a fucking Bezos in there somewhere mixed in too. I don't know. It was... Jeffrey Bottom Bezos. left looks like a weird 
Vin Diesel or something. What is happening? These are none of these are correct at all. This is fucking Professor Xavier shit. What the fuck is even happening here? All right, well that was a uh, that was a uh, an image. That surely was one of the images. One of the one of the mo one of the images ever made. One of the most images ever. I regret I regret that so much. I regret nothing. <laughs> so fucking ugly. Oh my god. Uh yeah, beautiful thing, the robots. Also the things of life. The the uh the song and dance of life that we all yeah, we're dance. In the robot territory now for sure. It is it is spooky. The memes are evolving so fast. The the power is in the hands of the people right now. I don't, in a way it, it never quite was before. The fucking the power of the the the, the power that creative the tools power. dude. The meme power the power the creative tools in general, the power to create the memes, but also the power to create so much dude. You could just you could just work with a fucking robot for a little bit and you could crank out business ideas fucking uh, uh, beautiful pornographic or not pornographic artistry fucking did i had i had a job interview tips from a robot we talked about this a couple episodes ago, episodes ago i was talking to the fucking machine about like interview fucking tips and stuff it was sick it's fucking crazy that is sick. where we're going with this uh tough tough to fucking Our know science gone too far dude yeah it's i think i'd say i was like half half jokingly and half serious as as with a lot of my uh fucking takes in the world i'll i'll mix in some humor in it because that's just the way that my fucking brain works when our boy ningen put in he's like uh what do you write pros of chat gpt tech for society output by chat gpt when he asked the robot itself like what the pros and the cons the pros and cons yeah of it and it's like improved accessibility advancements in ai improved customer service job creation and cons are like dependence on technology and this and that and i fucking i did my little kind of meme list as much as it's a bit of a meme dude uh this also it's also kind of fucking real and true the cons well, funny the the prior conversation of that was me trying to say that there was some downsides and he was just like no it's so good for the thing <clears throat> and then chat he asked chat gpt the downside and i'm like yeah dude people are going to get reliant on it or we're going to lose important skills remember that and i was just saying mm -hmm. like this is one of the things and then he's like no no it's no and then you chat gpt says like yeah over reliance on technology is going to be a problem yeah. So I don't know if that's a dub or an L, dude. It's, it's kind of a dub. I think it's dub territory. If the robot agrees with with a person saying that like it's it's a it's a fucking it, people could people could use it too much. That's a that's 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 a that's a dub. Dude. I think we're taking an L on this one, dude. I think we're taking an L. <laughs> Me no. I I think my fucking all my takes were hot and fucking real personal yeah, top fives like, what'd you say Gib? because like if the robot didn't tell you that then you would just go on thinking there was no, a fucking picture. no i would know i would know Dude, i fucking i make my own i call my own shots i got my it was right there it was in my pros and cons list one of my cons con number three over dependence and some fundamental loss of humanity when we're all autistic hey siri bots with machine brain implants thinking for us through that was a that came in hot at fucking number three and i do actually so I told. What do you do? Topic, I told the, the bot to like, use that face. That's beautiful. Use what face? It just look at boss man. I'm going. I'm going right now. It's a spoiler, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is that, man? Why does it have a watermark and a fucking paper? What well, was that in there? Yeah, it was. Oh. I'm scared. That's oh, supposed to be mixed with Michael Jackson. Dude, this bot you're using is not good. I just want to put this out there. It's not. It's, not it's just fucking. creating really cursed things. Dude, that's oh, shit, boy, was a horrific. I have to make a little phone call. Okay, okay, okay go make your phone call. Look, Order a pizza to almost. get a nice fucking Domino's. No, no, I have to call for a while. Yeah, there you go, fucking. Jesus. 
Uh, okay, well that's uh, grotesque. That's gonna be fucking melted into my fucking brain holes for uh, for a hot minute. What are your what are your fucking pros and cons of the fucking robots, dude? Wow, let's let's go there. Let's let's go, dude. Let's fucking let's open that can of worms. What do you guys think? Pros cons for the uh, artificial AI? Where you at? Were you spooked? You're a hundred percent all for it. You think it's fucking sick? It's only sunshine and rainbows from here. Are you fucking Unabomber mode? You're just you're getting ready to fucking start nuking tech or what? Uh, I think there's a the the good side is pretty pretty obvious like efficiency improvements and stuff like that. Like, um, I think the risks there's, the risks fall into categories. The individual risk is like making people unable to think critically or like over depend on technology basically and like lose valuable skills and at the social level i think the risk is like over centralization of power pretty much um and just like politi politicization of the ai and uh like you know further consolidating power into like big corporations or uh governments that own best ai and stuff Hundred percent. And also, just like censoring the AI or whatever, and like having it say, even these AIs are a bit cut if you ask them certain things. Yeah. Um, like if you ask them, not that I, I give a fuck, but like if you ask them, like, oh, tell me something uh, nice about Donald Trump, and it's like, oh, Donald Trump, a controversial figure. Uh, it's like <laughs> something too nice about Biden, and it's like, oh, Biden, sure, here we go. It's it's like it's looking great for his age. Yeah, so it's just it's just weird. Like, not that I give a fuck either way. It, that is just it's just that just is weird. Yeah, me. no, I don't it's like just, that either. It's just weird. Yeah, because that's or like, uh, you know, even even I think like, you you it's, you should be able to like have it say weird things and then just make your own opinion. But it like it doesn't allow it doesn't even like give you that. Shit. You know what I mean? It just censors it. Yeah, dude. I remember even when we asked it to write death metal lyrics, it's like death metal, by the way, is uh, is very violent and vulgar. And we, I don't condone these actions. Like, dude, dude, I'm asking you to write lyrics. This is a, like, I'm asking you to make up a song for me. You don't have to give me the fucking the disclaimer at the beginning that this type of music is not like, it's not cool. Like, fuck you, dude. That's all like, what are you talking about? We're not. I'm not asking you like describe to me the actual fucking the horrors of war like a fucking real. I'm just telling you write a song, but it, it it did the little thing where it's like this type of music can contain imagery of a like I was getting I was getting that uh the fucking South Park commercial kind of shit from the fucking robot. Some other examples. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of. Well, it anything, was, um, you try to say anything kind of like, it's like a, a little, little edgy, little racy, little fucking fuckery, it, 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 it cools, it cools the fucking engines 100%. It's, it's fine, dude, you, you make the machine, you want it to not be used for fucking a creative insulting of people, God bless. But just the general I idea that, that like, it, it is censored. It like, uh, I was trying to think, it was, it was asking it, it was specific questions, like, it should be able to, like, speak to it, and it, like, it doesn't, it, like, Walks on eggshells. Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it that much, to be honest. Yeah, that was kind of uh, in my list, too. For context, I'll give my little fucking yeah. list out here, dude. Uh, in the along along the thing, and then we'll get like a little Geb, a little Geb part, maybe if fucking Geb's still alive out there. Personal top five pros and cons. Did you read the personal top? Did you read the that part of the chat in Palace or not? That little fucking sh little slip slip it or no? I don't think so. No, but. whatever. Just fucking it's a bunch of jabroni shit. But anyways, there was the pros and cons. Mine were kind of memes, but a little bit, oh, but with some with some fucking reality in them. But in in terms of the real real ones, like stuff that Bloodbig was mentioning, things like who has control over the info and sources and stuff, and the overdependence, and the fucking the warfare fucking shit somewhere down the line. It's already there's already AI and warfare, but you could just imagine like the like, more uh, complex the AI gets, the fucking weirder and the psychological warfare shit, not just like physical machines like being smarter. Yeah. But things like fucking psyopy type shit, like fucking fake news, fucking nothing's real, fucking the government also, like, spy social things. Social credit systems, dude. Yeah. Like, being, just all fully controlling the population with social credit, being like you. 
Yeah, if you didn't like say your patriotic shit like this week, like you're getting docked like 10 points, like, oh, you spoke out against the government, they're getting docked 100 points. Yeah, the AI in the security camera in your office noticed that uh, the break that you took was one minute too long, like motherfucking, uh, you get, you get fucking, you get docked, you get docked some fucking pay, dude. The fucking AI tracking your fucking uh, movements here. You said you were late for this reason. Well, it turns out you weren't even uh, on the on the fucking bus up until this time, dude. The fucking you got figured out. Docked. You're getting docked some points. Weird, yeah. weird shit potentially. And I do think the over dependence. It's different because like. You know how like dishwashers wash dishes for you, and you're like, oh, like you lose your dishwashing skills or whatever or like oh like fire like fucking having a lighter makes you not able to like make fire with your hands or whatever so like these skills we lose and we've lost them over like a long time it's fine but the types of skills you lose to this thing is more fundamental to your like mental life like it's it's around language it's around like research it's around consolidating and putting together information and expressing words i feel like that's a bigger skill and like that's more dangerous to lose than like being able to like kill an animal with your hands even. it's like it, it's fundamental to like who the fuck we are as humans it's who you on an individual level who you are if if you're using that too much like you use it's like okay if i want to know what the capital of bumfuck nowhere land is and i use google and i look up what the capital of bumfuck nowhere land is right you're you're you always interface with information that isn't just from you obviously there's external sources for shit all the time you're not like in your own weird little fucking bubble world where the only things you know are the things you think because otherwise you're fucking you're actually fucking some type of egomaniac fucking schizophrenic kind of shit you know what i mean you're always touching and going but at levels of like uh levels with fucking advancements in technology and these fucking concepts of like brain implanty things or just like the phone on you all the timey kind of things and the fucking the ai getting worked into the everything on the on the schedule planning and on the this is and on the that's and on the like it just being your your buddy it being a fucking chip that you just like glue to your fucking forehead and it like kind of talks into your fucking brain for you and fills in the gaps you do oh, you about, lose like, like a fundamental what about fucking, intimacy intimacy and companionship you unironically yeah. have like coomer robots like you have these bombshell ai generated hot robots that are mm. just there to serve you make you food yeah suck your dick tuggy tuggy sucky sucky like Cyber sounds mm. i mean no it sounds cool at first but that would have downstream effects to, like how you're intimate with other people it literally would yeah. just be a different it would change completely that intimacy that ability to like be intimate and form relationships yeah anything it's, like if and it, arguably that's not even as fucking deep to like who we are as like using critical thinking in language like for me that's the biggest individual of risk yeah outside of the individual thing it's all the political risk of like social credit centralization of power they're, fucking government control over they're people. hand in hand like There's a lot the, of risk be like the the world where the fucking the dude is like uh, fucking all he knows is the fucking coomer machine and like the fucking sitting in the work pod kind of thing you're losing the critical stuff through that too like it, it's all fucking hand in yeah. hand you know like you're you're a fucking you're, yeah. you're looking at somebody and the fucking the robot is like speaking into your fucking eyes and telling you like the the words when, when do you ever develop a you like what is what what where's the soul in that you know what i mean like who the fuck even are you at that point what's the point of even being anybody if you're just fucking robot man like what the fuck what is this like what like i and i'm i come at this from an angle i'm a little fucking i'm a little fucking i don't even like like self-help book type i'm a i'm a fucking purist i'm a fucking pure soul personality soul i want everybody to fucking suck everyone to fucking feel the fucking pains and to find the rebuilding in their own fucking hearts and soul i do I don't even like some when I uh, this is it's, I, people it, 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 people talk too much about motherfucking things. I like I love that it's good for you, dude. I feel God bless if you find some coolness in the fucking in the 
in 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 the reading the instruction fucking manual of of how to be a better like god uh, god bless to all the individuals listening out there in the fucking world that that's your thing i i don't even i don't even really like that shit i don't even i don't kind of don't get it i kind of don't like it i kind of think it's fucking weird i never got into it there's something fucking stubborn something anti fucking cannot interface with uh, authoritative something that just doesn't want to have fucking tips and tricks to figure something about me that just wants to fucking i don't know just be fucking me dude that i don't even like that shit that much motherfucking robot brain making the calls for you type shit because it's fast and easy i cannot i i can't i cannot do this one. i don't like that shit my metaphor that i was using is like sometimes it's not about the outcome it's not about getting anywhere faster so like there's something lost when you're just thinking of efficiency and it's like i know 100 it's not about the soul is lost it's not, you about, lose the soul, it's, dude. Not, it's not about getting to the top of the mountain it's about the hike you know what i mean like it's, yes so yeah. what if the robot makes you more efficient like if you're not doing the work that's where the pleasure is that's where the like struggle the joy the fucking the journey is like you could it's kind of cool to be like oh i can get like airlifted to the top of mount everest but like that's not an authentic experience of like getting there you know and getting yeah. down and like maybe almost dying yeah, and we, uh, we're talking from our point in history, and obviously the people people before us could have an angle on, like, if there was some fucking ancestor looking at us through the fucking clouds, they could be like, well, this fucking bitch ass doesn't know nothing about yeah. the mountains, and it's food fair and true and real, dude, fuck it, what are you going to tell you, it's the fucking... It's not, it's not to say that, like, oh, like, we, like, oh, we shouldn't invent fucking, like, things to, like, make our lives better, but, like, it's just, it's it's not always about efficiency like there's some things that are just rewarding in themselves and like yeah if the thing is i guess you could say like oh like you could still do those things right but it's it disincentivizes it it like makes it like oh well fuck, this ai can do it so much better and it's not something you're gonna prioritize I don't know. and that's what i'm worried about really yeah yeah you know it's lame it sucks and it's and it's it's a uh, different kind of lame uh, in that it seems like the what it is that they that this this tech is is capable of kind of taking over is uh it's like really really big it's not yeah, like, it's fundamental to so it's like from intimacy to like critical thinking is, it's is like, big it's not like oh it's gonna like you know wipe my ass for me it's like no it's gonna like change what it means to be fucking human interfacing with yourself and the world yeah if if too much of that is is taking up space in the old uh the old day-to-day -day life and the old uh, brain processes then yeah, you lose a lot of them we haven't really had the closest thing to that is just the phone in your pocket which you could use you could pull up factoids yeah. you could be like hey what about that oh i think it's that let me look that up one second it's like ooh, like there's I that think, you know what my my prediction is so like i feel like back in the day like school used to be a lot more like oh memorize this like memorize the date of this thing and that's like yeah then the internet came along and like memorization didn't matter as much because you could just look at like when did rome fall when did constantinople fall when was fucking this date so like then the way you're evaluated at school was less about like memorizing things and it was more about like, okay now you have to like write an essay you know what i mean and now that writing has like become sort of like trivialized not that i feel like the next step is going to be okay do a like research project that incorporates not just the writing but also make some powerpoint slides and also present it you know like so then you're you're, you're still forcing them to like do shit you know what I mean? That's going to be the next, because it's going to evolve. As technology evolves, what you're, like, graded on is going to evolve. So I think that's fine. Like, that's going to it's going to adapt. But, um, yeah. That's cool. But yeah, yeah. This, this, this fucking, I'm, and I'm just to be clear, I'm not fucking, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not against it either. And, like, I think spooky. there's, on the, on the flip side of it, so I just read a book, um, now that I'm not fucking perma fried, I actually like, had a chance to read a book. Imagine that. Uh, called the the price of tomorrow, and basically the whole thing the guy was saying is that 
technology is uh, deflationary. So like what he means by that is like, you know, when TVs first came out, maybe like the super rich people could afford it. And then like within 10 years to 15 years, literally every fucking house in America had a TV. So like technology goes from being like super expensive to being like cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and like more and more accessible. So like as that happens, as like energy gets cheaper and technology gets cheaper and better and more and more like eventually it will like replace a lot of the jobs and shit that in like people will have access to all these things so like what's the next step after once like everything is sort of technology is so ubiquitous and so deflationary that it like it handles all of our needs basically you know what i mean like what, what's next after that and I thought that was super interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that. I don't. I mean, handles all our needs. Uh, that's like kind of assuming that the benefits of it are widespread enough that people are like uh, enjoying that kind of luxury uh, equally, or uh, at least like in, well, a, in a majority. Eventually. Would it like, be, or would there you know, always be some type of interest in having some fucking like lower fucking shitty slave kind of class that kind of keeps keeps the ball rolling in different ways? That but it wouldn't even be necessary. Man. Like I'm saying, like what like my yeah. yaya's generation, they didn't have fucking dishwashers. Like that was that was like, like yeah, they didn't have fucking any appliances. You know that was crazy. That was like rich man shit. But there always no, has like existed a poor man. You think there that they could get to a point like where the system fundamentally? No, still be they'll still be like a poor man but like the poor today still live better lives than like kings did like 500 years ago yeah some, some people cases. do for sure like like you're poor being poor in like i don't know fucking in like a, in a country that has like a safety net you still shit in like a non you, you don't shit in a hole in the fucking ground and you actually have access to like healthcare and food that's not fucking disgusting yeah on some on, on some metrics yeah there's there's definitely some things that uh, that even like uh, uh people in very or like a, in like low low kind of shitty situation yeah. living are still benefiting but you're from right there like still will be level. there'll definitely be like a class system where like okay the the technology evolves let's say fucking i don't know biotechnology nanotechnology is the next thing after ai it's like makes you fucking live longer or stronger or whatever fucking bionic legs or bionic implants or whatever definitely that's not the poor are not going to be the first to be able to afford it it's going to go to the rich it's still going to have a class system but like 20 advanced 20 years later and that shit's going to be in and everybody's going to have access to it you know so it's like i'm saying will it ever get to a point where like humanity will be taken out of the fucking rat race like in general there will always be some I don't, I don't even, I can't envision, like, the, what would have to change, like, I don't know, funda fundamentally fucking, I don't, not even the word is even culturally, I don't even know what fucking systematically or whatever, the thing like, that would have to. Are you to, saying, like, hierarchies to change? I'm like, saying, yeah, for us, like for us to act, for tech to be, like, oh, dude, this awesome shit's there, dude, and it could do so much, and let's, let, let's let it. Let's, let's just everybody's done every like everybody's re everyone's retired it's over like we did like I think people you would, yeah, are done I think you can, working on whatever you, you could you could the difference would still be though like let's say i had the minimum i needed to start, like i was i had tech i had power i had rice every day at some point that wouldn't be like it'd still be like okay now i want steak or now i want yeah faster connection speed like there'll still be people that strive for more and people that yeah. don't give a fuck and i think that'll always cause an imbalance and a hierarchy like some people that are just more driven or that are more hungry or that are more inspired that'll always be a thing like they'll never have people just like let's all retire and wear the same rags and eat the same rice like that's not gonna happen um but i do think you're gonna see the floor raise where like it might it might be a situation where like technology is so deflationary that like we have universal basic income everyone can live without working and afford like the minimum and then everything else you earn is extra like you don't need to work to live you need to work to like better your situation and yeah i think that i could see not even like that uh far away 
Almost. almost seems like we should be able to pull that off right now kind of thing but i uh, literally yeah i think we are almost there literally almost there dude. i still think like the one big trend like someone as long as somebody still owns the infrastructure like if somebody owns the ai and the tech and like the pipelines and the fucking in- internet as long as that's not owned by like everyone then i think there'll be mega power imbalance still like the people who own Google stock are going to be just way richer than the people who don't kind of thing. Yeah. God dang Google. But maybe you could socialize that, you know, you could like socialize that and be like, okay, well now, you know, everybody is own, owns this. All citizens of this place like own a part of this. Okay. Man, I wonder what Geb, dude, Geb, it's been a fucking, uh, 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 Gebless little half hour there, dude, you alive? Yeah. Chee, I mean, what's up, man? Thoughts on tech, I don't know, already, right? It's just like, uh, don't let, don't let it, like, control you, but have it integrated into your life, I guess. That's the best way, honestly. Integrate it to your life and don't let it like consume you or consume your life. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people like fucking controlled by the current technologies, you know? Yeah. And yeah. See that shit with like cell phone kids. Social media, take a big. True. That shit fries your. I'm convinced that shit fries your brain. Does the yeah. scrolling, dude? What the fuck? Even have you ever looked at somebody that's like deeply scrolling? It kind of looks. It's kind of looks dystopian. It's a little weird. Like, doesn't even matter yeah. what they're scrolling. Like, it could be wholesome shit. But like, just it just looks fucking weird. I've felt. Like, have you ever um been staring at your phone? And you catch yourself and you're like, I should stop. And there's a there's a moment where you like physically cannot. Is that a revenue? Have you been, like you're just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. You're like, oh, it's been a while. I should get up. And your your hand's still moving by itself. And you're just kind of looking at the phone. And you're like, I sh- should get up. And then your thing, everything in your head is happening to tell you that you should stop doing what you're doing. But you're locked, like you're actually fucking locked. Is that have you ever fucking had that kind of fucking realization mid? It's like lucid dreaming type shit, dude. It's, have you ever had that shit? It's fucking weird. No. No. What? Like when you decide. I'm when, when, when you decide, like, okay, I'm gonna close my phone. You just press the button and you close it instantly. You've never had like a like a little there, like a fucking like a point where you're kind of like outside of the fucking the body, or where you're just like a point where you're just kind of like. You're thick. Uh, you're th- like I should, but you're you're still you're still rolling. No, like uh, I'd I'd catch myself and then like five seconds later I just scroll <laughs> and I'd be like, wait, what the fuck? But but in in those five seconds, you, what were you doing? You weren't still scrolling. Oh, I guess I'm just telling myself to but stop scrolling. But what are you? But what are you doing in those five? You're saying five seconds later. But what are you doing in those? You're still going in those five seconds while you're saying you're gonna stop. While you're thinking to stop. Yeah, I'm looking at my phone still. You're still there. You're still fucking in it, dude. Is what I'm saying. But you, I've caught myself doing that, and then thought about the fact that I'm doing that, and I got weirded out. I felt like a fucking like a fucking idiot. That happened. That's fucking. To a point where I. Oh. It's wild. I I asked ChatGPT to summarize the book I was I was telling you about. Uh, and I just posted it in the Doncast. It's funny because like a few weeks ago, I asked it to summarize it. And it's like, oh no, it's too new, blah blah. blah. Now it actually fuck, it's learning. Dude. Oh, it actually did it now. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think, I think this new TikTok fucking reels trends fucking periods. Dude, is intense. Oh, reels, yeah, it's tough. Everyone started doing fucking YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook. Oh, I didn't finish the thing. Okay, so you're scrolling, right? You're doing that thing, right? Like, do you, let's yeah. test this right out. Do this. Test. Take your phone out. Take your phone out right out. Just look at your phone. Just open up some fucking bullshit you could scroll through and just like scroll a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, open. Yeah. Okay, yeah, scroll, scroll. Just look at it. Just keep, just keep doing it. 
Actually, look at what you're looking at. Like, find something that might look a little cool and give it a sec. You feel like the trance setting in a little bit? I know it's it's definitely not going to happen fucking organically now because we're, like, in it. But you feel like the yeah, fucking... I feel it setting in, yeah. Dude, Dude actually, I can't stop right now. I'm it's, doing it. Okay, so, so it's weird. I've, so I've been... I and then I, you know what I think is happening? When, when I caught myself, like, trying to fucking stand up from this for a second and then, like, it felt kind of impossible. You know what I think's kind of happening? I think this, the movement upwards is a part of the fucking trickery that they did. Because when, when they designed this shit, the clever bastards over at whatever fucking apples and fucking oranges kind of companies, they didn't just do it like par hasard kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's psychologists, psychiatrists, fucking sociologists. Like people went together to engineer tech that was impossible to stop looking at. Like they, they figured things out. Yeah, for sure. I think a part if of it. If you want to really oh. go down that rabbit hole, dude, there's uh there's something that's extremely fuck. Um, it's called neuro marketing. Yeah. It's like neuroscience meets marketing. It's literally, it's actually, but not even like super new. It's kind of an old thing. They did it in the '90s and early 2000s. I think they did experiments where they tried to measure. They literally hooked people up to fucking machines and shit and show them like different brands and stuff like Pepsi, Coke, whatever. And uh, they studied the interesting how to like make neural, how the neural hooks like in marketing work. And like they found that like Coke has like one of the strongest brands or some shit. Like your brain, it's literally in your brain. Dude. And they're fucking, they're trying to study it. So like the, the people with money are like, oh, how do we like hook people even more dude. and like they literally at the neurological level are, are studying this shit for 20 30 years they've been studying this shit yeah it's fucking nuts and i think what I, what I was saying with the scroll thing specifically i think the scroll up when you're looking at your phone and you're thinking like i should look up like i should get up i should stop this like i should and what is happening with your the movement that you're doing to continue engaging the endless scroll like as a mechanism the thing that you're doing is going up that's what the thing is i feel like there's some when i was literally this was it weirded me out for a sec like i got i like i got caught like in in a fucking in like a the thing but like when you're on one of those apps, you're doing the endless scroll, and I was sitting out, and I was there was a point I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna stop this. And another like couple of minutes passed, and I was still looking at the fucking thing, and it was just it became like like there were multiple pro like there was the 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 top processes that was top prior was like keep looking at the shit on the screen because it's fucking cool, and the fucking the idea that kind of snuck in was like a like a le like a lesser rank in terms of thinking of like maybe you should fucking get up from this and fucking stop you know what i mean and it yeah. it it's felt like it it was it was held down there i think by the fact that the movement i was doing was not only just easy and fucking addictive and stuff but it was like a moving up i don't know how to i don't know if i'm wording it fucking the way exactly that i want to word it but I feel like the scroll, the motion of the scroll and the thing of what you're looking at going upwards on your screen, it is a part of what makes it easy to not move yourself. Because the thing in your head that's like, look up, get up, do other things. Imagine, yeah. uh, focus on it's, others. That is fully fucking in the zone, dude. And it's, it's your dopamine system, dude. It's the same reason why it's easy to do easy things. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Things. No, but I mean because also the just the me like I mean the mechanism of the scroll up. It on top of just like it's fun to fucking look at the tits on the fucking TikTok or whatever. I'm talking about the the mechan the mechan the mechanism of yeah, scrolling because up because it's it's literally dope it stops you from what was, mind makes it easy for you to not look up like because it's your your thinking your brain is a stupid fucking animal brain that doesn't know what a screen is really like up until the last fucking couple decades and when you're looking at the thing and you're just doing the scroll up the thing in your head that's like just look up and do something else it doesn't like there's something in your fucking animal brain that's like i don't need to i am looking up like i am i am looking i am looking at the forever up i'm talking mechanically 
You know what I mean? Forever Open. It what is the I Forever mean, Open. Uh, it's the Infinite Scroll. It's, it's not that surprising to me because, like, it, it's it just your cool. dopamine system. It's yeah. really just that. It's like you get the easy pleasure for like very minimal effort and it's just conditioned like you're if you, it's the first time you're ever doing it you wouldn't have that mindless fucking zombie scrolling as a as a thing you do but because it's been associated yeah. to like all the thing your mind literally is just dopamine 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 easy dopamine easy dopamine dopamine versus like getting up off your ass and going to do something is not easy dopamine it's like gonna it's hard though you know what i mean i don't even do so it that much that is what, the, what the fuck the, i'm not even a person that looks at fucking social media too much <clears throat> i just happened yeah. to catch myself in one of those fucking moments and i was like "Ooh, dude dude especially like uh in the morning or night situation like you just wake up and you're like i don't want to get out of bed or you go you take a shit in the morning you just look at your phone a little bit too long on the can or you're lying down at night and you're just kind of fucking staring at it like those kind of in-betweener moments those like a uh, fucking twilight mode those like start beginning and ender fucking things i should say uh that that you catch you catch some scroll the wake up in bed on a day when you don't really want to get out of it and you don't really have a whole lot to do and you could just and before it's like 30 minutes later 40 minutes later you're still fucking scrolling through random bullshit it's one of those and i caught myself and i was like dude i've i thought the thoughts of getting up a couple of minutes ago i don't even want i'm not even looking at anything good anymore there's just the i'm just there's more to scroll through there's it, the scroll doesn't stop and there's something in, the in my room. in my head that's like well you don't have to get up then there's still more to look at here like right here the the thing of getting up and looking at other stuff is is happening in front of me that like my brain is it's clicking it's checking the same boxes not just on a dopamine level but on a literal like like the the just the like get up and do something else is like i could just scroll up and see something else and not just like that feels good like like um it's it's more fucking dope and lazy this way it was like a my brain was being tricked into thinking that it was doing something important by just scrolling up. Like, it was more that. It was more like, you feel like you want to find the next thing. And you want to, like, uh, you just, you want to, uh, it's fucking, yep. uh, anyways, it's weird. I caught myself in that kind of fucking zone. Anyways, it was, it was fucking weird. And I don't even do that, that much. I'm not even a kid that was birthed on the phone. And I'm not even, in terms of social media fucking usages, in terms dude, of the average, I'm not even yeah, that big. But I feel the same. It's, like, it's weird. Imagine like that's something that overall has positives, right? There's like connectivity. I can talk to my fucking grandparents in Europe, send fucking pictures. You could do event planning. You could share memes. Fucking do all kinds of shit with it. Which, but there's also all this other fucking lock in fucking easy dopamine shit prevents you from doing other things and like. It makes you antisocial in a way. Like I think, fucking boomers bless them. Like they still have to fucking get together in the park and fucking play some fucking sports together. They, like they had no choice, or else you literally don't see anyone. There's no fucking internet for you to default to, right? Like we wouldn't like without the fucking internet, without social media, all this shit. Like we would literally have to be doing this face to face. There's no, there's no other way. You'd have to there's like make no friends way. with your neighbors or some shit. You'd have to like talk to people. You'd have to know your neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. I don't fucking know all that. Boom, give boom, fuck. Boomers are happy anybody. people. Now they're all fucking. They're still oh. happy. Dude. They, they have oh, the most can, they have can do attitudes too. They're they fucked, they fucked us a little bit. They fucked the team lad, but they still have a fucking can do attitude. Dude, they're pretty fucking pissed off. The god dang pop you fucking read the paper dude did you read the fucking paper this morning dude did you read the paper any morning no, fuck it, that's that's boomer, that's, god, boomer no, that's, always, that's just news dude that's Gen Zers, dude just fucking graduating and fucking up the economy dude well yeah it's, now gen z's are actually being included in the, it's funny because eh? before it used to be millennials are lazy now it's like gen z and millennials are lazy <laughs> You know, like the first Gen Z turned fucking twenty, fucking twenty one or whatever, what the legal fucking drinking age in the states kind of thing. Like you're now you're a part of the fucking problem, dude. You're fuck you're what you're paying a tax, not enough tax. Are you paying? You're fucking working a job, not enough job. Are you working, dude? 
Generation Alpha is gonna graduate elementary, <laughs> and they're gonna get played. Generation Alpha is. We're gonna we're regress, dude. Like you remember, like, you know, like a hundred fucking years ago, kids at like twelve years old had like jobs and were smoking cigarettes and shit. We're going back to that. We're going <laughs> we're going we're going back to that. The problem is never gonna be fucking solved, and it's just oh, the blame on the younger is just gonna keep getting more exaggerated yeah. until we got fucking elementary school fucking kids fucking smoking cigs and working in the fucking mines again dude and it's gonna be like you got they're not working hard enough those fucking kids i'm telling you those fucking little runs dude they were actually raised with fucking ipads and high speed internet like we still had a we still had a fucking eh, 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 <laughs> like we still had a fucking early days no cell phone shit like they're born as babies with youtube like this is a thing that it fucking is just a few generations too and if you think how fucking, like, dude, two generations ago, like my grandparents' generation, like my grandma saw her brother being born, like in the corner of her house where she was, like, she fucking lived. Like, yeah. this was a fucking. Two generations later, we're fucking making AI images of Elon Musk, <laughs> sending fucking, fucking information through cyberspace, and we can hear each other on a fucking Discord app. And in two, what the fuck is it? And it's getting faster, right? Like, in, in two fucking generations, what the fuck is it going to look like? So it's either going to go, like, full parabolic on us, or we're going to have a big, a great reset. Nah, I don't fucking, dude, I don't fucking know. All I know is AI kind of cool in its own way, over-dependence on fucking uh, easy information and fucking... Uh, I'm filling in the fucking blanks of your fucking personality and soul with too much of just the uh, fucking other fucking info kind of shit. I think is is a steps towards uh, autistic roboticism and it's a uh, it's a little weird and there's gonna be a little loss of humanity along the way and potentially at the end a complete loss of humanity when the fucking chips in your brain are doing so much of the work you're literally just a meat machine for the fucking AI processors. Uh, which is weird and unfortunate if we get there, but god dang it, while we are alive and there is still art and beauty and individuality in the world, dude, uh, experience it, suck and fuck and fucking maybe paint a little bit sometimes and all these things. Uh, fuck the government, fuck the boomers, fuck the zoomers, fuck the Gen Z. Gen Alpha is, uh, Gen Alpha is based. They smoke cigarettes at nine years old and they work in the mines and it's all their fucking <laughs> fault. Uh, Grumpy Bear, God Tear from the Care Bear AI thing. Thanks to our sponsors, ChatGPT, Joseph Robinette, Biden. Uh, to all of our millions of viewers, uh, billions even by now, who knows? Uh, bless you. Thanks for lending your fucking mouths and ears and fucking uh, brains. A bloody B and Geb. If you guys got any closing comments or little mini topics to wrap it, I think we are just about at that time. It's been an hour, 22 minutes. It's been a fucking good one. It's been a pretty wholesome one, been a pretty informative one, been a pretty fucking real one. Honestly, you guys got anything uh, anything in the brains before we uh, before we kill this episode of the show? Uh, uh, that was good. Fuck, no. fuck TikTok and Reels. <laughs> Fuck the reels, dude. Be real. Fuck the reels, dude. Hell yeah, that's my catch. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, we're gonna put that on t-shirts. And uh, don't let the fucking machines control you, man. Dude, don't yeah, Use don't them fucking. As a tool, so don't be a tool. The fucking fuck that. Fuck all that noise, dude. It's, it's fuck. I don't even. Dude, I don't even like people that read self help. I don't even like self help books, dude. I can't. I'm anti machine. I'm anti fucking anti authority. Anti advice. Anti uh, fucking. Really. You know, uh, like David Goggins yelling at you? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like any. I don't like any of these fucking reads. I just like being a fuck up and then eventually figuring it out. And that's kind of weird and fucking stupid and it's slow, but that's my process. And uh, everybody else could suck a fat cock. All right, thanks for listening. I uh, uh, episode fifteen. I think this is fifteen of the Doncast. Yeah. Peace. Peace.